Hello dear aquarist fish keeper. I'm back again for you about this next presentation on a fish disease. And I'm working as a consultant as you can see. I have some knowledge, I have some experience and I want to share with you. Maybe I'm a wizard and a magician, but probably things you can learn from me during my PowerPoint I share with you about the case of uh, Beta Half Moon, a female with Odinium, gill flukes and a bacterial infection. So you can read more about this in my books, also about betas, I have lots of information available. And here we show you the beta, well, not looking well, you can see that the fins are broken, the fish is suffering, there are several ones which are in very poor condition and also some aggression which is sometimes secondary happening with betas when they one is getting weak and the other ones start to eat on them yes we sometimes have very aggressive female betas and then we found on the skin scraping we found odinium or velvet disease you see all the particles the parasites attached here to the fin and the scales here we see a more close-up of those parasites they're not moving they're sitting still you can read more about that in my books in detail and then we found in the gills also all the little spots the black spots the odinium parasite but also gill flukes you can see them here moving moving around yes that's a problem occurring on a fish with a combined infection here we see it in more close-up you see the odinium parasites the black parasites attached to the gills and you see the gill flukes which is easily to notice when they move around of course so it's a, a mix of infections in this case here and you can see that the gills well are in, influenced badly by those parasites which are causing lesions and the risk of secondary bacterial infections that's the cause with velvet disease and at the same time, we found internally, um, yeah, tubercles in the organs here in the spleen, here in the right of the kidney. So that was also badly affecting the fish at the same time with the parasites. So it's a complex uh, disease treatment we have to do. Uh, we have to treat three diseases. So, and I would recommend to combine uh, the medications against odinium or velvet disease together with the gill flukes treatment. So the combination, you can ask your aquarium shop or you can get the information or you can ask your fish doctor or you can find the details in my books on fish diseases. Treatment against the tubercles, probably mycobacterium, well, that is not so well functioning because they are encapsulated and it's hard to treat and particularly those which have a lot of tubercles, they will die, uh, no chance you can, you can cure them. Still, you can help the fish with a functional food like Dr. Baslier by Fish Food Fuco or professional care so the fish can build up immunity himself. Read about it in my books, a lot of information and treatments I share with you. More cases to come, please subscribe to Tune with Fish Diseases with me or get your special training as a fish doctor at my Patreon. Well, I hope this as a consultant that I could help you a little bit to understand fish diseases, particularly here with three diseases mixed together and that you have to take the appropriate actions. Thank you for watching.